<laughs> oh, Matt, you're a tease, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I, I couldn't resist it. I should try harder, <laughs> I know. Oh, how are we doing, everyone? Uh, how are we all? Uh, so tonight, we're off to Scotland. We've got some exciting things to preview on the Fife Circle. I'm joined tonight uh, by Matt. Hello. And a special guest from Rivet Games, Jasper. Hello, good to be here again. Fantastic. So yes, we've got loads of bits to show you as it is. It's on pre-order on Steam with 10% off at the moment. Uh, so yes, go and, uh, if you'd like the preview, go and pick it up. So yes, should we start off, Matt? Right, okay. Uh, hang on a second. Let me just... Um... So as you can see, the route looks really good. Excellent. Right, I think we've done. <laughs> right, I should probably be serious now. Right, okay. So uh, let me just switch over to that one. Hopefully everyone can still hear me and they can still hear you both. Do you want to just both talk so I can check? Can you yes. hear me? Hello. Excellent. <laughs> Looks like it. Cool. Uh, hopefully we'll be all good. All right. Okay. So we're in the game. Let's go and have a look. I've picked the route. So um, we've got the uh, the 170 and there's a few services for the 385. But let's focus on the 170 for now. Um, when we get in the game, I'll show you the map so you can see what's, uh, what's in there as well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a... Let me, let me go through slowly. I've seen people saying they want me to scroll this list out slowly so that they can see. So uh, those of you who don't want to see this, just come back in 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, there's, there's a wide... Of... Sorry, carry on, Jamie. Carry on. I was going to say, because there was quite a few questions about, like, formations, like the 170 formations, about um, different sort of AI traffic and... and um... Uh, what units and, uh, and locos you've got in there. So, obviously, that's the 117 385, but you've also got the 801s, haven't they, well, I think, on AI? The, there's yeah, lots of stuff exactly. on AI. Yeah, there's lots of stuff yeah. on AI. This is, the, this is the stuff on the 385, which is all quite short, because we're heading to diesel yeah. land fairly quickly on this route. Yeah. yeah, so the furthest you can take the 385 out is the Thingo. So, um, yeah, that's still about, I think, 15 minutes or so. So, yeah, you've got some... 18 and 19, according to this. Oh, okay. Now, nah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's have a look at that. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we've got in scenarios. Uh, we have uh, Fun Around the Firth, uh, Coming Full Circle. That looks fun, actually. That uh, cool. High Winds, yeah. uh, Scattered Spares, and Railway Rubbish. Yeah. So, uh, a, a, a range of different things to do there. Uh, let us go for... Um, now, I'm looking here on our cheat sheet, and it doesn't actually say that there's a selected service. Did you find a service for us, Jasper? Yes, that's the 1L89. 1L89, there we go. Edinburgh, I believe. Oh, so this one. is south side. Yes. Bur Bur Burnt Island. It is Burnt Island, isn't it? Because it be it's so uh, tempting so. to say Burnt Island. I don't think that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm not <laughs> Let's throw it out to the chat. Let's take a vote. Chat. What is the correct? Burn Ireland. Okay. Burn Ireland. Burn Ireland. Okay. Yeah. I, I would have guessed that it's that, but uh, that's easy to say now. <laughs> Burnt Ireland. It is Burnt Ireland. Okay. Fine. Burnt I'm sure I heard someone say Burnt Island. So, never mind. Right. Okay. Let's go. The bagpipes are out in full force. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the doors unlocked. So we're in Edinburgh. Yes. Talk us through. Is there any? Uh, uh, have we got changes to? Because this is the Edinburgh people will be familiar with from uh, obviously Edinburgh, Glasgow, isn't it? Uh, yeah, exactly. So the main station is the same, but we opened up the other half of it that was previously blocked so you can now wander around the entire station and have a look at all the all the new stuff and if we fly back there if you uh, want to do that Matt there's an 801 sitting in this service so that's why we pick that um, there go. yeah so there they are it's actually two. Oh yeah 
yeah, so you'll be able to walk until the very end of the, the canopy. Um, yeah, so up to here, exactly. So that's all new. Uh, there's a bit new, um, yeah, clutter stuff around there that wasn't there previously just to make it feel alive. Um, and then we opened up one of the exits um, in there, but yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing major to show there. It's just to make it more real life. Uh, yeah. That's about what we've done on Edinburgh. Oh, and there are new escalators and uh, a yeah, couple I... of these shop buildings that weren't there previously. So escalators. yeah, it's, it's definitely worth I feel like a thing we should again. be looking at. Where do I find escalators? Uh, there should be... Not sure where they there should be further back, shouldn't they? Yes, but the, the escalators... Buildings? Yeah, uh, yeah, the escalators are a few walk up to that walkway that's up there to to your right to your right uh there's no no no, no not that much to the right <laughs> sorry yeah there they are oh here we go there. look we have escalators yeah Whee! so if you step on them yeah, Whee! <laughs> Man, yeah. This is, no i see this is a missed opportunity i want to go here and go down and up and down and up you see this is uh, you're just not catering to the number the, to the masses there yes <laughs> <laughs> but if you go up to the other end of the walkway, like where we are looking right now, there are another set of escalators, and that's where the new exit is. I don't know if you want to go there and show that, but... Uh, I mean, up here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then to your right is where the new shop buildings are. <laughs> you never knew that escalators would be so fun. <laughs> yeah, so this exit is new, exactly, yeah. Very good. Just open up that bit. Oh. Cool, cool. Right, okay. It's time to uh, get back to our train. So, wee. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the game audio is a little bit low, Matt. Can you tune it up a little bit? It probably is a bit, looking at that. So, let me... Uh, top a bit louder now. See how you get on with that. Play the piano, they shouldn't be able to tell whether it's loud enough. Even the game has got annoyed with me now. Are you giving this <laughs> train like... up or not? Yeah. You're a minute and a half late, Matt. <laughs> Just because I've seen the question in the chat, the Class 170 and the Azumo won't play on Edinburgh Glasgow at the moment. Um, something that we would like to do, but there's. We are not working on it at the moment. And there hasn't been an update to platform 9 and 10, just because I saw that question earlier. Edinburgh itself is quite heavy on performance because it, there's a lot going on in the station, so... Um, yeah. There hasn't really been a reason to do the other two platforms. Right. are just loud at this very particular spot. Um, yeah, they're not quite very bells. Right, off to Haymarket next. There we go. So yeah, in the, uh, I know someone uh, someone probably mentioned that the cab seems really quiet. And that's because it's an insulated cab, isn't it, on a 170? Yeah. That's actually not a bug, but rather a feature if you want to have it that way. Um, I was surprised by it as well. It's really quiet, but um, yeah. As I learned, the engine is on the other half of the coach. Um, or the, end, the other end of the coach, so it's A, far away from you, and then B, the cap is insulated, so it's 
really quiet in there. But if you want to have proper sounds, just open up the windows. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got 35. Oh, uh, how did you draw the guy's ass? Has it got any guard panels? Uh, yes, we have guard panels. They have actually um, some upgraded functionality over the ones that were in the 3 um, 3A5. Um, so there's there are some new features, which are mostly to do with uh, opening the doors from up to where you are to the active cap, um, which is something they would use in real life if they have a platform that is too short for the entire train. Brilliant. Um, yeah, that's new. Yeah, I have my lights off. Sorry, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen that question a couple of times now. We have automatic announcement on this train, so it will play. Um, announcement the moment you start the service just to uh, yeah talks you through where this train is heading um, and then um, approaching each each station there's an announcement announcing the station you're going to stop at as well just realized those are switched off as well doing a great job today <laughs> <laughs> you'll get there Matt it's all right <laughs> And also, there's quite a fun collectible on here, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'll spoil it. We'll let Matt find one first. Exactly. Do you know what it is, Matt? Hmm? You mean the... 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 um... the blushing? Yeah. Yes. I found sure two or three today fun. while I was doing some testing. Mm. I like to call I'm it sure. testing, Thanks but really I was just playing. There it is! <laughs> oh yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> Need to find one along the route where you can actually collect it. Yeah. In quotation marks. Well, you collect the fish, don't you? That's what you do. Yeah. Out of his mouth. So do I need to do anything to get the PIS to sound? Because we've not heard anything from the PIS announcements so far. No, that should be working automatically. Alright, okay, let's see how the next one is then. Yeah, I had it working on my end today, so... Uh, fingers crossed. Be when you get to about... Uh, about 30 to 40 seconds before the station, I would say. Uh, so about something around that, yeah. yeah. I've, I've not counted it down. Uh, so, uh, I know some people have been asking about the route uh, mileage, so the route length is 52 miles, and it's got 20 stations, uh, which is it's quite a lot, <laughs> it's quite a lot of stations, and it's literally a circle, and obviously we've got most, one of the most uh, biggest uh, British uh, icons of railway infrastructure in the world, uh, oh, being yeah. the fourth railway bridge, and we're not too far away now from it. Is the internet cutting out for you and between as well, or is it just me? What internet? No, it seems to be fine me. I've not heard that reply. That's JSMR. And above that is where you can change the destination. So there are t yeah, these two arrows. Probably want to set it to Perth again, or Mackinac or whatever. Yep, 
Yeah, because that was one of the questions about the PIS. Um, it sets it is, the destination based on where the service is heading, but you okay. can change it at any time. So is it just literally that that is just for five circle, or can that be, you know, is there different ones for some of the other routes, or is it just for five circle at the moment? It's just for five circle at the moment. Um, we're looking at adding the, uh, what's it called, smart PAS uh, in as well, but okay. that's not in yet, and that won't be in for launch. Right here. I can't find Perth on this list. <laughs> it was there a minute ago. Yeah, that's because it was also set by uh, the, the timetable. So probably just yeah. go for Markinch then. Uh, you probably should start breaking. Hmm? I've been breaking. We're all good. That's 700 yards. <laughs> <ago. laughs> it's all good. We don't want to do a nib worth, Matt, do we? <laughs> it's all fine. You panic too much. <laughs> ah, no way. <laughs> it's like you've been on my screens before. True. I should know better. Yeah, I'm not hearing any announcements, so I'm not I'm not convinced that's working at the moment on this build. And I I have a sneaky suspicion that the, this particular build hasn't been updated in a day or so, so it could be um related to that. But no, we'll we'll find out what's going on with that. Yeah, it's definitely working. But yeah, I can That is full. We'll I'll I'll make a note on that and check what it is with this build. But I've heard it working before, so it's yeah. definitely there. Uh, so one of the questions, yes, but was uh, what time table do you, was used for the route, and is it a, a, a real timetable that's been used? Yes, yes. So we've used the real life timetable. Oh, maybe we should shut up for the train part. Let's have a quick look at yep, the map so. as well, because the map is quite interesting. So we've got yeah. uh, Edinburgh down here, um, and then this is where the line forks off um, to uh, kind of head up this way. Now, Linlithgow is over here, I think, here somewhere. So this has all got scenery yep. on it from the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Glasgow. But this, the five circle line heads up here. There's a uh, like a metal thing over here that's quite famous. Um, mm. uh, it's, it, it was built after the third bridge and before the fifth one. Um, mm. and then you've got um, then you've got the five circle itself here um, which I noted with Glee um, you can actually do um, circuits it's got all of the necessary links to let you do circuits so hype um, and uh, yeah until so you end up going to uh, McKinch up there and I think the, the 11 line that's being built is off this way isn't it um, in reality yes. so that's, yes, that's exactly. interesting yeah Oh no! <laughs> oh well, we missed no. that. <laughs> oh. We said this was going to happen, didn't we? Well, there was no passenger announcement reminding me to stop, so. Ah, that's too easy, Matt. Oh, <laughs> come on, Matt. <laughs> it's definitely the game's fault. Sure, <laughs> always is. <laughs> Dev worth, dum dum dum. So we've got the airport off to our left, haven't we? No? Oh, coming up, did I say? If I'm not responding was... to anything, feel free to repeat it because it's the audio is just cutting out for me from time to time, and I've okay, tried yeah. to shut down everything that I can. But yeah, 
Uh, one of the things, Jasper. Uh, one of the things, Jasper, was about the airport. Have Have you got working, or is there aircraft flying uh, around the airport? Yeah, so we had them in, but this area is quite problematic because that's where this mysterious steel structure is loaded and all the water that's around it, so it's it's quite heavy on performance in that area anyway. Um, we're still looking into this and trying to bring them back, um, but at the moment they're not here, just to save on performance and, um, yeah. So, at the moment, no, Okay. unfortunately. We haven't got to the bridge yet, folks. You can't miss it, to be honest. It's it's what goes on <laughs> not really. and on it's and massive. on and on. Was there a video on Dovetail channels today that had it driving through in real time? Yeah, we did indeed. I think everyone yeah. left today. But I mean, you can just stick around and find out in a few minutes. <clears throat> BDL, will the 800 have layers if ever get said? So first off, we don't have an 800. No plans to make an 800. Um, so several steps away from being able to say anything useful, I'm afraid, in that question, in the case of that question. What yeah. we've got is an 801, which would not run on this line because the 801's only got a limping diesel engine on it. I mean, there's nothing to stop you running it in off the rails mode in Scenario Planner um, and, and just pretending the pantographs aren't, uh, be, you know, aren't there. Yeah. I know point. someone mentioned about the 158. Um, so obviously, that's not releasing alongside this. Um, but, you know, we'll have more information about the 158 closer to its own release. Um, but yeah, um, no news on that really at the moment, have we, Matt? Nope. Good news is we're ahead of schedule. How did I manage that? That's a mystery. Ooh, ooh, that's weird. Okay, well, you'll get uh, angry passengers uh, standing at your door and banging on the window and saying, "Where's my bus replacement then?" To the next day. Well, I'm not actually supposed <laughs> to be stopping here anyway, so you know. True. I successfully, I successfully anti nebworth <laughs> oh, Nebworth and then anti nebworth Ah, here it is. There it is. Not the third, not the fifth, but the fourth. And the other fourth. And the other fourth, oh, yeah. On the actual fourth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, what have you laid yourself into, Jasper? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. Yeah. No, it won't get any better. Not with us two, will it, Matt? <laughs> Yeah, fantastic structure. I, I know that they have to like have a rolling paint. So once they've painted one end of the brick, or they've uh, finished painting it, they have to start again because it takes forever to paint it all. Oh god, I don't want to imagine what it is to be up yeah. there and having to paint this bridge. That's going to be tedious, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So its total nope. length is eight hundred and ninety-four feet, or two thousand four hundred and. Uh, sorry, 8,094 8, feet. feet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, 2,467 metres. Its height is 361 foot or 110 metres above high water. And its longest span, which is two of 1,700 feet or 520 metres. Uh, it was constructed in 1882 and constructed ended in December 1889. And opened in on the 4th of March 1890 and apparently at the moment it has 190 to 200 trains per day travel over it which is quite incredible so you've got three bridges across that cross the fourth and the other two are road bridges remember only one of them 
was uh, is an, uh, the, the, the two of the two road bridges. One of them was done to replace the other one um, because it was failing um, and it was going to cost too much to repair it or something like that. And I don't know whether that was a long time ago. I don't know if they've managed to get them both operational. But um, yeah, there's a read up on the history of the of the two road bridges across the fourth as well. It's really it's it's an interesting story because it just started to fall apart. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I've seen someone mention about Steam services, so there isn't any uh, rail tool services at the moment, is there, Jesper? But, I mean, you can use uh, free roam to put your own Steam services in, but, um, I, I mean, if, are you looking at rail tools, possibly, as an update, timetable update at the moment, or is that, you know, free roam just at the moment? No, there's nothing to add at the moment. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that, Liam. Ah, so it doesn't, the paint doesn't need to be done anymore. I'm sure that, I mean, that video was quite a long time ago when I realized that it needed to be painted all the time. But obviously, they found a better, <laughs> a better paint. <laughs> mm. Or lowered standards for the bridge, I don't know. It's one of the two, isn't it? It's one of the two, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Simon's GoPro. No, there seems to be something wrong with this build and announcements, or at least on this journey. So um, Jasper is going to take that away and find out why they're not working at the moment. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Matt, also, someone's asked to have a look at the guard panel as well. We'll have a look at that in the key thing. I've seen that question before. Uh, so, the question on the if there are two formations, two formations? Yeah, trains with two formations in this in this timetable. No, there aren't. But you can couple up um, in uh, free rope mode. So they are uh, talking to each other. But it's a bit tricky to couple them up. You have to put them in neutral and then approach the train. No, approach the train, drive onto it, and you hear it coupling up mechanically then you need to put the train into neutral and press the couple button on the top right on the dashboard and it's then coupling up um, electrically as well but if you not do that you can pull the other train away or well, you probably can't because the brakes won't release but um, yeah but there will be a manual which explains that as well Ah, someone's asked, where are the 170 sounds on TSW sound, uh, source from? So, Matt, they, I think it was actually, Matt, yes, it was an audio trip, wasn't it, I think? It was, yeah, the team went up to um, Scotrail ages ago, because originally, actually, we were thinking of doing this. We had the opportunity to do to go up and get the recordings done. So the team went up, um, and... Um, and then um, when um, Rivet said, um, hey, look, we want to make this, we just passed them everything we got, uh, along with the, own, the recordings that I think Rivet took as well in addition. So we had a, we had a really good opportunity to get a, a full sound set for the 170 recorded um, with Scott Rail's help. So a yeah, big, big thank you to Scott Rail. Big, big thank you to you for passing it on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Aha! Look at yeah. that. So you need to enter the key first and then you can operate everything, yeah. You lost yourself out, man. <laughs> yes, you'll get the three at fives in Edinburgh, as well as the zoomer. So if you want to have a look at that, just go back to the beginning of the stream. After we've finished, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
and regarding right. PlayStation. Your right turn. Go on, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's uh, just regarding PlayStation. It's there's there's nothing to be uh, afraid about performance on last gen consoles. That's also true for Xbox as well. Um, and don't think the layoff has any any trains removed for the last gen last gen consoles. Actually, there was a question about the fourth bridge. Uh, there was someone said, "Will any ships be passing underneath the fourth bridge?" No, nope, not at the moment. Oh, sorry, no, just just no for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Was another question. Uh, oh yes. Um, so with the station announcements, or uh, with the in-train announcements, if you ran a service up to one end and then changed cab ends and went the other way, would that automatically change to the next service that would, f uh, you know, the announcements would work with the service then going back? It should, but I'm not 100% sure of that one, and I wasn't able to find out, uh, so need to add that later. And the other one about the announcements is, are you able to turn them off, or are they just automatically on all the time? You were cut out as well. What was that question? Sorry, uh, <clears throat> are you able to turn off the announcements, or are they on all the time? Nope, they're on all the time. So these That's are a good request, actually. Um, who are? Where has it gone? Wow, the chat's moving so fast. I lost what I was gonna. Someone, someone yeah, asked, we... uh, you know, who you were about? Um, once we figured out what's going on with announcements, put a video up demonstrating the announcements. Do you, I don't know if you want to make a note of that one. Yes, but that's a really good idea. I, I already did that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Liam has asked, are there any circle services? Like, as, as Matt said, can you go around in a circuit, or is it just... No? Nope. Nope. Okay. There is that just one scenario, I think, where you go where you do do the loop. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So it's then <clears> one scenario, but the services are basically three patterns. So one is going up from Edinburgh up to Markinch. Um The other one is going up to Glen Roads with Thornton. I'm sorry for mispronouncing that. Uh, and the last one is just basically switching ends in Thornton, so in Glen Roads, yeah. We are currently looking at other services, but they won't be in for release. Benjamin, what do you mean by will the guard panels work without driver interference? Ah, 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 uh, probably no. So if you are on an AI service and you're operating the guard panels, uh, the driver is probably the, um, has the higher priority. <clears throat> Uh, Dean has said, <clears throat> does the fourth bridge light up at night? Uh, we'll find that out later. Ah, yes. Okay. Don't want to take that away. <laughs> find out. Stay I'm tuned. I'm taking that to be a speed. yes. <laughs> it's going to be a nearly perfect stop. <clears throat> nearly. I said ne <laughs> nearly. 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 <laughs> it's in the platform, in the same Yeah, that's all that matters as long stop. as you're not off the end of the platform. You're fine. 
Um, Mr. Roscale has asked, is there any depots or sidings? So can you run like a, a depot train? Uh, no, but we have opened up the Haymarket depot. That was previously not accessible because it was all uh, automatic junctions, or I believe the junctions weren't even set up. Um, so that's now set up and you can uh, go into the yard in free roam mode. Good place to go free roaming. Sorry? I say it'll be a good place to go free roaming. With the, with the Haymarket Depot? Yeah. Mm. And someone has asked any freight services? Nope. nope. That's fine. Uh, Dean asks us what the little screen is for. I'm guessing, Dean, do you mean on the left-hand side? The right. Right, yeah. Right. Oh, sorry, right, yes. That Good is point. a video surveillance screen in the real one. Ah, okay. I know someone talking about, um, so obviously you said about Haymarket being uh, opened up. <clears throat> Are all the platforms at Edinburgh Waverley the same? So that they're, quite, they're all opened up or is it just like the ones that would run um, sort of the, I'm guessing the north side of Edinburgh? Um, there are only a couple of selected platforms here which you can start on in Scenario Planner. Okay. But if that's something that's really interesting, give us a shout. I mean, I, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to do that. Um, yeah. I think because people like to do like platform runs where they're right at the other end, and mm. then you come out of them. Um, because we we do, you know you have that at, for example at Norwich, where a, a train from that's going to go go to sort of one of the branch lines ends up going from a mainline platform and goes all the way across. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. people like to do all the junction runs, you know. Yeah, let me take a note on that, sure. So a couple of three people have been asking about formation designer on console. Uh, nothing uh, firm to say at the moment, except that we'll have news on formation designer in the next roadmap. We're near the coast now. Eh? Mm -hmm. I must admit, it's a very scenic route. Oh yeah, especially the path along the coast. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of collectibles here at this one, Matt, and you can actually jump out. I've, I've done this one, and you can get the seal on the bench there. Well, you know what I'm going to do then. <laughs> there's the route, Matt. Yeah, so classic one. 
And there's the plushie. Yeah. And once you approach it, it sticks out its tongue and you give it a little fish. That's <laughs> quite cool, I think. Yeah. It's really cute. And then the poster. And yeah, the last planter. Look at that. Oh, the first planter. <laughs> you always got to make the stations look uh, nice and pretty. Sure. I think a lot of the people like the seals. <laughs> I mean, that's a quite a good, funny question for chat. What sort of other plushies would you like to see on the routes? <laughs> Don't get them started. No, I know. They, they could be could suggest anything. You never know. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Rose Scale has asked, what uh, year is the route set in? Is it current or is it yeah. slightly... It's current, okay. No, it's set in the current time. And, yeah, it will be even more once we open up the Leaven branch. Yes, can you tell us about that? Because you... Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, um, this is a part of this route that's not included as of right now because it isn't open in real life. Scott is planning to reopen it in June and once that is open we'll have a look at it and see how we can get it into the game as a free post-release patch so it will include um the leaving branch at some time fantastic oh well i've seen a lot of people men i've seen a few people mention sharks so there's actually something interesting about sharks isn't there Jasper? <laughs> yeah yeah so um, the mastery tile is a shark that's sitting in the, um, what is it called? Next to the north end of the bridge is this, this underwater aquarium. world. Yeah, um, so they have a big aquarium and there's a, a shark in there if you enable the, collect uh, the collectible, the mastery tile. And I heard it's a bit larger than usually, but you'll need to find out on yourself. Fantastic. I know someone said they need a map plushie. <laughs> pink. Yes, with pink headphones, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I've seen that question a couple of times now. Again, no, you can't turn off the announcement uh, if you don't like them. And yes, the trams are back as well. They even extended. If you look on the map, you can see that we've got the uh, the depot at um, Edinburgh Gateway as well. So, yeah. Hello. Yeah, exactly. I've not tried putting a train on it yet, but I don't know if there's anything stopping you from doing that. Hey, I can imagine they'll have a bit of an argument with the corners. <laughs> uh, that might be a case, yet. yeah. Yeah, wait, should be all right, I should think. Mm. And no trams can't be used. Same as with uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow. I think the top set, uh, top speed on the line is ninety. I think. Isn't it? Yep. Uh, yeah, ninety. And yes, as somebody said, the top speed of the train is 100 miles. <laughs> no, we're not, Liam. We're not getting him to miss another station. Don't worry. <laughs> I was reading that exact comment as well. <laughs> Look at this. Look. You've even got the... Uh... 
Paracel uh, Paracels and the uh, deck chairs on the beach there. Yeah. It's probably my favorite station. That looks really scenic. Especially mm. if you're there in the morning with the, the sun rising. That looks really good. Oh, that's a good question for yourself, uh, Jasper. I don't know whether you have an answer, but what uh, what did you make you choose the five circle? As you uh, you know, what made it so special? Um, so there are always way more than just one uh, reason for making a route, but part of it is definitely that uh, we were quite happy with how Edinburgh Glasgow turned out, um, and we wanted to do something uh, in our in our backyard, if you want to call it that. Uh, again and so yeah being able to to go out there and have a look at how it is in real life is extremely helpful um, yeah and I mean this bridge was long overdue and trains and well so that's another reason oh fourth bridge has been yeah hundred percent it's one of those it's the you know it's one of the major railway iconic iconic yeah. things you know when you think of the railways in Britain you think of the fourth bridge you know. Yeah. That's just really iconic. Well, that's a cool question. Um, if we had consultation with drivers, yes, you were actually in quite uh, frequent contact with one driver at SpotRail um, about how the class 170 drives and behaves, and she helped us uh, immensely with making this train a lot better. So, thanks to you. Yeah. She will know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Rail is definitely my driving. I'm not feeling at my best tonight, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm driving a bit chill. I'm driving a bit on the chill side, as you may have noticed when I miss stations. <laughs> you'd be, you'd be driving with your uh, arm out the window, just like you know. <laughs> trying to do whatever I can to make it not hurt. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lucas, yeah, we're on the um, the south or the east, whatever you want to call it. Maybe this bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you call it the east side, wouldn't you? Yeah, because you're heading north, aren't you? Really. Well, we are going to have a look at the other part as well. You actually pass two football stadiums, don't you, as well? Mm -hmm. uh, someone's asked if the services that terminate at uh, Cowden Beth are uh, playable. So has it got a uh, terminating server? No? They aren't in yet. Um, we are working on them. These were the ones I meant when I said that we're working on additional services at the moment. But these won't be in for release. So, yeah. Dion, I'll do you an external departure at the next station, yeah. I know there's been quite a few questions about the 158. We haven't got any more news on the 158 for you at the moment. Um, but uh, when we have more news, we will let you know. And yes, there is AI traffic. It's just that this route isn't super busy in real life as well. So yeah. But we've seen one in the very beginning. Um, 
I didn't see another one. I, I think you see sort of a service. You see about two or th uh, at least more than at least two or three. I think it's about two. And then obviously Edinburgh is busier. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, the class 801 will be um, in Edinburgh. And yes, it will move. It's not just there stationary. So oh. you will have times where there's no 801, but then other times they're there. No freight and no six car services, but you can couple up two of these in. Oh, sorry. I think it was something about, uh, oh, I forgot that. Right? Oh, we're terrible, aren't we? Dear, oh dear. Yeah, can, we make a, can you make a note to check about joint sounds? I've heard the joint sounds as well, so I'm surprised I'm not hearing them here. Just it could just be that this, this build I'm running is maybe out of date, because I know they were doing builds today, and it may be they've not yeah. finished yet. <laughs> I've made a note on that. Yep. So if we make we do one video capturing all the bits that uh, haven't quite made it into this stream, then uh, people can yeah. see that stuff. Yeah. I've seen their feedback about adding in the class 66 services. Um, I'll definitely take that to the team as well. Yeah. Well, the black screen's got some stuff on it. I don't know if it does anything, though. Uh, it does. You see that it changes if you start from the cold. So if you do a cold start, um, the first two buttons about the brake will change the color if the... Um, if the brake reservoir has filled, um, and every time you move the reverser, it will uh, light up the first one, I think, as well. David Ham, why, um, why is this a circle? The route is a circle. It's called the five circle in reality, um, but the services don't run round and round in circles, I think, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They go either side of the circle, really, don't they? And I'm guessing the 170 is in livery designer? Yeah. Yeah, I've already seen the beta testers making a wide raft of um, crazy liveries for it. Fantastic. <laughs> There's been at least two or three pink ones as well, so... Pink work, mm. confirmed. <laughs> Let me show you the map so you can see the circle. So if you look at the uh, this bit here, you can see that you've got the uh, the link line down here, and then you've got a link line up here. So the route is a circle, but the, the trains will either use this bit or they will use that bit. Um. <clears throat> yeah. There's been an interesting question on um, 
the trains the train changing its um, engine sound about uh, 20 miles it's actually not 20 miles but 16 um, where if you put it up to notch 7 it will actually only go up to notch 5 um, if the train is driving below 16 miles and once it passes the 16 miles um, it then automatically unlocks notch 6 and 7 and drops into 7 so that's why there's okay. another um, the ref increasing the refs are increasing there as well I mean, I commuted on 170, so uh, this is quite an awesome thing to have in the game. <laughs> and then it's changing gears, I believe, is what it is, at 67 miles or so. Or 58, okay. Don't miss the end of the line, man. We're getting track <laughs> joints now. I don't know where they've suddenly come back. We are getting track joints now. Hmm. Uh, someone's asked, is there a cruise control on the train? There isn't one in real life, no. There's a hill start, though, if you fancy that. There was a hill start? Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's the add button. Uh, there's no one, no button for it in the cab, but if you press the add button, or I think it's the left joystick on console. It's, it's definitely there on console. We've learned from um, the safety systems on Bernina. So, yeah, you can use that even if you're on console. Yeah, the old 166 had that as well. The idea being that um, you press and hold it and it will keep a, um, a minimum reservoir application, but release the throttle interlock. So you can put it into power, let the power yep. come up, um, and as soon as you've got enough power, release that button and then the final break from, uh, will be released. Yeah, so you would set it to about notch two or three and then as soon as you hear okay. refing up you can basically release the um the hill start button the, bus, yeah, the, console, the, yeah. the 170 is incredibly quiet in the cab it's one of the um one of the big things that the major sales pitches of the 170 over the dmus at the time when they came out was the uh was the more comfortable cab experience for the driver it's insulated and the engine's at the other end of the uh, of the vehicle so um yeah we, um, someone shared me because i was a bit i was skeptical gotta be honest and someone shared me a video as a scott rail video actually and it's got some footage in the cab and it is but this is probably too loud to be honest compared to what i heard in the video <laughs> it's insanely quiet yeah quite funny because they made the experience for the driver really nice for the passengers they, <laughs> they made it louder for the passengers than they did for the driver which is quite funny mm. Quite right too. Drivers on the train are a lot longer. That's a good point, yeah. No, nothing's got suspension at the moment, Dadro. Um, other than the 142. Um, suspension will be rolling out first on the original TSW4 um, content and then progressively out on uh, things that have come out since TSW4 came out. The beta testers have got builds with the um, current uh, beta of suspension across a range of vehicles. Uh, we're going to show you another video um, in the next roadmap um, of another train with it. Um, and um, yeah, we're looking at um, getting it rolled into some more trains at the moment. The 66 is done at the moment, Dion, bar tuning. But they'll all be coming out together, so, because they may need further tuning as we go. And that's McKinch. Ta da! 
speeding minus five four two. <laughs> I was just about to say. It's fine. Fussy fuss spots. Right, what are we looking at next? We're going to do the uh, the or the trash collection scenario. Yes. That sounds exactly. rubbish. <laughs> it literally does. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? So I'll have a look at the route in winter. Will the suspension come to any content that predates TSW4? There's no plan to do that, but it might come as part of a future remaster type project, but there are no plans to go before TSW4 for that stuff, no. <clears throat> Garbage collection service has been running. Okay, I should have read that earlier, never mind. Interact with the bin to empty it. I've been upgraded now in my role as train driver. <laughs> <laughs> Was there any sarcasm in that one? I, I, I couldn't tell really. You couldn't detect. You couldn't detect it. Oh, okay. I'll try no, that next no. time. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> yeah, so try to add a new mechanic with that one. That's what this is. Just mix it up a little and add something that you wouldn't see in uh, services. Pin cleaner sim. Yeah, exactly. Pin, <laughs> yeah. Pin cleaner and train driver sim. <laughs> Scott Rail 170 says, has w wheel slip protection been simulated at all? I guess you know, we're in the right weather to find out, aren't we? And I can tell you that much. Yes, it has been simulated. Drove it earlier today in the rain and uh, yeah. It was definitely slipping. Yep, that's wheel slip protection going on. You can see the light coming on. As soon as it, once it detects it. Yes. There you go. Oh, and I can't hear sounds, but it looks like the station announcements are there. Uh, that's what people are saying. I didn't hear that myself. I wasn't listening. Hmm. Matt, what HUD set am I using? I'm using the mini HUD. Uh, wheel slip protection, basically what that does is it will stop the the train from slipping, basically. It does a, it does a, so the wheels will slip, it'll then, I think, does it put the brakes on, Matt, or does it, it pulls off the throttle? First thing it does is pull the throttle off. Um, yeah. And uh, it'll use that to figure out what the, uh, to, to what to do. I mean, it's the other thing you can find, the wheel slip protection is, is including, I think also includes wheel slide protection. So. Um, yep. there's, a, there's a number of things in there, but fundamentally it's about keeping the maximum grip on the rail. Yeah. So it keeps you, or tries to keep you accelerating the best it can. There is snow on the trees, but what happens is that at a distance it kind of averages out. Either that or the trees end up being white blobs and they look terrible, so it's a compromise.
Oops. Just realised. <laughs> there you go, putting the brakes on and it's detected a uh, a loss of grip going on. Mm. Weird. So 170 coming towards us. Yeah, as we said on the announcements before, they are there, uh, but appear to be broken in this build. But yeah, we'll make sure to get a video of them uploaded as soon as we can. I don't know if you saw when I was braking earlier on, the brake was um, was was waggling up and down. I'll try and show that in a, in a, when we get going again. But that's wheel slip protection doing its thing. There it is. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. Oh dear, oh dear. It's our rough old life. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what happens, they, they got rid of some of the station staff, so you now got to empty all the bins now, Matt. Yeah. So they didn't want to come right, out Shut the, the doors as well, just for the giggles, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll keep them all cold, that's right. <laughs> said we're emptying bins but we're not emptying the toilets so far <laughs> the toilets don't get used because they're locked yeah that's true I'm not sure if we need that layer of realism <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I used to, I know someone who used to work get uh, used to work for uh, like cleaning the trains and uh, some of the stories he tells you about uh, toilets and things Rather not, not for stream, <laughs> not for streaming consumption. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. I've seen that layer question popping up a couple of times now again. Uh, so there is the Azuma sitting in um, in Waverley, uh, but that's not player drivable as it's literally heading out the other end of the station. And then we have the 385 services that were coming into uh, into Edinburgh, um, and then we have the Class 170. Um, there are no other services at the moment. Um, we're looking at adding a few more, but yeah, that's something that didn't. Yeah, there's no there's no date on it. And the ones that I mean with that are the other class one seventy services on the five circle. Um but I've noted uh the wish for class sixty six services, so yeah. I think we'll Scotsman's, that to been, the team. Scotsman's been mentioned as well. Yeah. Scotsman's true. Got that as well now.
We don't have the HSTs that run on this line, uh, Anna. Um, the ScotRail have got some, they've got the, the, the coaches are different. They modified the coaches to have the sliding doors. Um, so you'd be making a new, uh, you know, a new train or at least part building a new train at that point. That's not a layer. I think it's not just the doors, but also the interior has a different layout. Yeah, um, it will be. Yeah. Yeah, so that would actually require quite a lot of rework to really? make a proper the... train out <laughs> where the bin is. <laughs> Am I getting has to pay for this? <laughs> not sure. <laughs> right, Mr. Pedalston, why was your train running late? Well, you know what? It's rubbish. <laughs> Oh you God. made me yeah, it the rubbish now. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to hope you brought a bottle of hand sanitizer with you. <laughs> Matt's a rubbish driver. Exactly that, Jason. Wait, no, what? That's not what you. That's not what I meant. You mean the <laughs> other thing, don't you? <laughs> Spinning the wheels. Which that isn't. There it is. We. <laughs> no, and you'll just go back to the depot, Matt, and they'll be won't be happy because you'll be causing wheel flats. Uh, a couple of questions. Can we turn passenger interior lights on and off? Yes, you can. Uh, why would there be sparks? Yeah, there are no sparks on there. Though. That would be something horribly wrong if you have sparks. Um, and then, what was the other one? Uh, station PAS. Yeah, I don't think they're working in scenarios. All well, that's on our end that we didn't set them up, but they're definitely working in service mode, uh, timetable mode. Oh, interesting question. How long did it take to make the route? Uh, that's difficult to answer because there are various stages that we start working at from going out to survey the route um, to setting up the project itself before then the entire team can move on to it and start actually working. Um, that's probably um, three quarters of a year, something like that. But that changes from project to project as well, so you uh, can't take that as an as a measurement for new projects. Someone's asked, "Can you climb to the top of the fourth rail bridge?" Nope. Why would you do that? Because well, I mean, because you could, <laughs> you can do it. So yeah. 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 I mean, you can. Why, why would one do anything? Because one can. <laughs> yeah, true. Exactly. Yeah, a stupid question. Does, I see. Does it make Does it make sense? No, not at all. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I still want to do it. <laughs> to paint it. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> to paint it. Ah, oh, fourth rail <laughs> bridge painting simulator. There you go. All right. There you go. That's probably Come out the right most after toilet, game that toilet you cleaning finish. simulator. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> It's like power wash of simulator, course, except we... you're spray painting a fourth route bridge. Mm. Yeah. You can make it a bridge painting simulator so you see at least more than just one bridge. And yes, we are working on new stuff. Always. Uh, so that, I told Danny just said. Does it come with a Red Dwarf version of painting? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Danny. That's good. I like that. That's brilliant. That would have been a cool collectible. Just buckets of red paint. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because it's in 39 Steps, the fourth bridge. And Naja's like in 39 Steps, uh, Richard Hanny actually climbed down the fourth bridge. Can trains fault be simulated in the scenario planner? Uh, no, but you can trigger the auto announcement to go off in scenario planner if you give your train D. Let me look that up. Um, if you give it a P, at the example. So if you want to use. Uh, auto announcer in scenario planning, you need to add a P to the beginning of your uh, service name. Good job there's no due times on these stations. <laughs> <laughs> no, be just, can you imagine if he just the driver got out, went to come and do the bins and then got back in the train you'd be going, Huh? What? Why is he doing that? <laughs> I would be confused as well, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'd like to get to my job today. <laughs> Yeah, we're not seeing any exhaust smoke, uh, Jasper. I've got a note on that as well, yeah. Okay, good. Next stop, Darmany. Oh yeah, but this time for real. But this time for <laughs> yeah. real. Then go flying through this time. Oh really, Nigel? Yeah, I know there's quite a few 39 Steps films. I think there's a film called Flying Scotsman as well. That's re I haven't seen that, but it does look really, really good. Keep forgetting the bridge is 50 limit. Oops. <laughs> Fourth bridge does look look good in winter as well. I think it looks good in in every situation. It's just yeah. the, it's the, the first sheer size. Bridge, is, I mean. Yeah, the sheer yeah. size is incredible. That's yeah. I've been taking screenshots of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gave us a few headaches when modeling it as well, just because the size is so big and you need to probably think about how to approach it. So it's not hurting performance too much because you can really get lost into in the details. But yeah, the artist did a great job on that. So I should think it's the biggest bit of infrastructure we've got in TSW now, Matt. I should yeah, think. I think so. Yeah, I should think so. Yeah.
unless you count really, really stupidly long tunnels in Castle Wurzburg. Mm. Yes, that's true. Yeah. But they don't have the same complexity as this metal structure does. For sure. Yeah. Like the size is one thing, but the amount of beams that are going on from left to right and top to bottom is, well. A friend of mine made a scale. Like a friend of mine made a scale model of the fourth rail bridge in Z gauge with his 3D printer. Wow. Was it Z gauge cool. or was it which is the silly, really silly small one? Is it T? T. Yeah, I think I've seen yeah. it. I've, I'm sure it's it's actually a really long model, but because it's like the fourth bridge scaled down, it's really yeah. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. Oh yeah, no, it's been. I think it was housed at the NRM for a while. It was, uh, and it went to a load of exhibitions. Yeah. How long did he spend on it? His whole life? Oh. Um, no, no, not his whole life. It was. Um, he got into, um, uh, you know, with his with his new three D printer, and he'd uh, decided uh, he'd make that. So okay. he'd always been interested in the fourth bridge. He was. He's the the guy who did it. His name is Doug. He was actually for those of you who've been around since the MSTS days. Doug was, a, you know, quite a prolific creator for um, Microsoft TrainSim. Um, mm -hmm. And he got into T gauge trains. He used to basically, whenever he wanted a new coach, he just 3D print himself a new coach. Oh, that's quite neat. Mm. Regarding the horns, yes, we do have all four. So you have a lie, uh, a high, low, and the soft version of high and low. How do I, so I how you, do I do that? Uh, so you trigger them. So the um, the hitbox for the main horn is right on the. On the lever, and if you click slightly to the right of it, there's the soft version of it. Yeah. Ah! So you can't do four way levers, I'm afraid. So that's why we went for this way. So it's not quite a PlayStation controller, but. Mm. ML, yes, I am from Wolf. And I'm from Suffolk, so yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, was probably thinking to himself, huh? What does that make me? Yeah, if you don't know why there's a Norfolk and Suffolk divide, uh, <laughs> have a look on the map. <laughs> I'm learning something new every day. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <sighs> no, we get on fine, Matt, don't we? <laughs> we do. We do. Yeah, chat has hit it right on the nail there. <laughs> what, you mean the good football team versus Norwich? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the other way round, but hey-ho, there you go. You didn't get there fast enough, so you lose. No, no, you, you were quicker than me. <laughs> I showed the guard panel earlier on. I'm trying to remember to do it um, in the next one. I think we're about to finish this one. So, yeah, we're going to do a night run then. So, control space is soft horn low, and control N, soft horn high. There you go. Yeah, I'm JP. I actually think there'll be lots of people doing different tones with those horns now. <laughs> the not tones are actually the same, but it's yeah. just yeah, softer at the start. Actually, I don't know why you would do that, but yeah, maybe to be gentle. Built-up areas, probably. Hmm. True. 
or uh, if if you you know you think someone's not sort of crossing the road and you think oh they'll probably move I'll just give it a little bit of soft tone yeah they hear it no I'm getting closer right high tone yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they yeah, need the soft one in the depots because I can't see a depot whistle on here ah yes that's another hmm. one yeah early mornings would be another one I don't know I need I need very loud noises to have any impact on me to be honest Yeah, that's what I was thinking, the rail tour, sort of night running, as Matt said, depot running. For the question of that northern guy, uh, I can't give you a time frame of, uh, for the things that I noted down. But I'll forward them to the team so they can see what they're doing with it. I know someone had asked about the price of five circles, so uh, it's twenty nine uh, ninety nine, um, and is due out uh, on Tuesday, so it's four days away. Uh, so you haven't got long to wait, uh, but it's got a 10% discount on Steam at the moment, so it's twenty six ninety nine. Yeah, I, I forgot that the uh, the weather meant I couldn't just slam all the brakes on, and the train just slid over the uh, the stop point. They have actually stopped here this time. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. They'd forgotten. Yes, I'd forgotten. <laughs> what? Is there another bin? Dang it, there's two bins on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we'll put that in just to annoy you, Matt. Exactly. Matt being happy with just having to clean one oh, and then bam. Yeah. Happy though. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's beating you on the stairs, look. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm Always spending no energy bit. and having fun. That's a nice train. I wonder if it'll wait for me. Passengers are sitting there like, where's the driver gone? He's still He's riding the escalators. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying his time off the cap. Oh well. Sun's coming out now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Liam has asked. Will we uh, add more moving escalators to more routes going forward? Um, don't know why not. No, I didn't get in the wrong train, Liam.
Oh yeah, wipe us off. You're right. Let's do that. <laughs> if we run to Haymarket, Matt, and then we'll uh, show it at night, then. Yep. Oh, trams. Yeah. So that's the new tram line with the with the depot back here. A few trams sitting there. Oh, no trams in the scenario, but in service mode they're sitting there. Timetable mode, not service mode, sorry. I forgot about the trams, well remembered that. <laughs> Interestingly, I, I didn't realise. Would you like to know how much paint the fourth bridge has? There's at least five or six of those little airfix on rod tubs. Yes, at least, yeah. Hmm. It wasn't wrong. Do you want to have a? <laughs> do you want to have a ballpark figure guess, Matt? Jasper, have a ballpark figure guess. No cheating. What I don't know. Five thousand liters. Are we talking liters or tons? Uh, liters. Liters? Oh god. Uh, I'll go with 10,000 10, then. 10,000 no liters. So Matt is with 5. Yes, was with 10. It was 240,000 liters of paint was applied oh. to 200, two, 255,000 square meters, which is Two million seven hundred and forty square foot of the structure. Good thing we were only a tiny bit off. <laughs> well, I, was, I was the closest, definitely, with my six little Humboldt tubs. Absolutely. <laughs> and apparently, it cost, I think, by the looks of it, uh, to repaint the bridge, uh, it cost a hundred and thirty million pounds. Is it saying how much weight that is? I'm not sure in litres, you'd have to have that look at that. You've got to, you've got to think that, I, has the bridge physically got, like, the, the, the things have got thicker over time because of all the layers yeah, of paint exactly. being added to it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like, do you have to rethink uh, the static on that one? Hmm. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about, that you can now enter the depot and uh, there were some manual switches to the left. You can see them in the in the map view as well. If you want to bring that up at the station again. Oh, apparently no, just recently just... they stripped it to the ironwork and repainted it. Yeah. Hmm. You know why that was though, wasn't it? It's because the guy who was doing the, or whoever was doing the repainting of the bridge went to his boss and said, "You know what? I'm bored of doing this. Can I can I have something different to do?" And they're like, "All right, we've got a new job for you. First, you're going to do is strip the bridge." He went, "Oh, what?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Mark. Nice, yeah. As Nigel just says, they got a a a, a, a deal from Dulux. 
little story on that station. Building. That was the first station, the first Godride station that I've ever been to. Uh, so yeah, I remember coming down there and seeing the 385 sitting there. I was like, okay, this is weird and dark, but yeah. It's kind of <laughs> weird when you go to a foreign country and you see trains you've only ever seen in Train Simulator and you see them in for real at the first time and you're like, that's wow, that's so that's weird. almost as good as the simulated ones. Yeah, it's like your head it was backwards. super strange when I uh, went into into Waverly for the first time. So that was like, okay, this this looks. I, I mean, yeah, I, I do need to say that, but it looks exactly like the one that, uh, I've seen in game. That was super strange. You're gonna make me do more. No. <laughs> I don't oh, think so. hasn't finished loading passengers yet. I was too yeah. fast for it. <laughs> Boom. Right, let's escape there. Not finish the scenario, just for reasons. And yeah. we were going to do a Dunfermline City uh, run in the night time. That's yes. correct. To Inver Keithing? Inver, Inver Keithing? Am I saying that right? Uh, how am I going to do that? Is there a train that just does that, or do I need to start on foot and wait for a train? Does yeah, you need to out? start on foot. Uh, okay. Do I know where I'll find a train? Then is to start on a train. Okay. Let's go into the uh, free roam mode then. Yep. Uh, done firm in. Come on, click it. There you go. And we'll go silly early. That'll do. Uh, this is west I want to go, yes it is. Yep. MH trains, I don't think the 801 is going past Haymar uh past Waverley. So uh no. The 801 services are AI only. Right, set up for night running. Set a path. And we're going down to what here in the key thing? Yeah, sure. We have a path. You might want to check if it's keeping you on the right track. Good show. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Yep. Yep, yeah, okay, perfect. Lovely jabbly. Tow lights on still. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the chat are really on it tonight, Matt. They, they, they keep me in check, aren't they? <laughs> they think they're just still not familiar with my level of competence. <laughs> Oh yeah, they all oh, could they could just be backseat drivers, Matt. This is true. Uh WR gaming, um how do you mean? Do you mean on the five circle? There are no eight hundreds in the game, remember. There's only eight oh ones in the game which are electric multiple units, not diesel. They have a diesel engine, but they don't go very fast on that diesel.
What is it about the 801s going to to Glasgow? Is that actually a thing? I've never seen that. I think I, someone told me that there is um, there are a couple of services a day or something where they do that. Edinburgh, Edinburgh Glasgow. Mm. Okay. I reserve the right to have been misinformed or misunderstood. Mm. There is a reading light which is up to the left of the driver. I think it's on by default. Mm. Uh, yeah, below. Oh god, where's the button for that? There, there, notice board lighting above the uh, headlights switch. The right one. Yeah, that one. Morning service from Glasgow and an evening service to Glasgow. Okay. Cool, thanks for that. That's quite handy actually, service to the East, uh, uh, Glasgow by the East, uh, east Coast. Mm. I have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've never been to Scotland before. Have you, Matt? I used to live in an island called Unst. So how you get to Unst is you go to Scotland, you keep going north until you get wet and you get into the water. And then you keep going north until you get to the Orkney Islands. And then you keep going north until you run out of the Orkney Islands and you keep going north until you get to the Shetland Islands. And then when yeah. you run out of the Shetland Islands, you've just left Unst. It's literally the northernmost point in the United Kingdom. Wow. How long did you live there, Matt? Oh, a few years. Uh, my dad was based at RAF Saxavord um, right. back then, which is the um, early warning base there. And um, so we used to come back to Aberdeen on a regular basis. Um, mm. But uh, no, living, living on like, a, I think it was a two mile wide island at Unst was, uh, was great, it was great. I just had to look up Unst. That's literally the end of the world. It is <laughs> the end of the world. It's like it's. Hey, look, you've to got an airfield. What's really cool about uh, Unst has got so many unique, cool stories. Um, uh, one of them is that they have their, they have a bus shelter that has a website. Wow. It's like Why a major that? icon. It's a major iconic location in Unst is Unst Bus Shelter. You can Google it, you can find its website, and it will become apparent why it's popular. Uh, is that really Bubby's Bus way. Shelter? Sorry? Is that Bubby's Bus Shelter? Bobby's? Yes. Okay, I see why that has, has its own website. It became like it's a community, me. it became like a center of the community. You mm. know, it's. Um, out in the middle of nowhere and people would put like put microwaves there and a TV there and they'd put little hot snacks in there and it was all it's, it's trippy to be honest. It looks so weird but yeah there's some curtains It's quite funny because you're closer living there you're closer to Oslo in Norway than you are to London. Well the um I mean uh, Unst actually carry a lot of tradition of Viking traditions yeah. um so you'll find that they do the um the annual uh, longboat burning, uh, mm -hmm. where they spend all year making a traditional Viking longboat, um, and then they'll set it on fire and cast it out into the sea as sort of a funeral thing. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's a really beautiful location. It really is. It like, I love living there, but I was I was too young to really uh, appreciate it. Mm. But now we spent time in Aberdeen and uh, uh, all around. It's, uh, I really like Scotland. You know, it's where Iron Brew it tastes the best, bluntly. Oh yeah. 
I have to admit, I mean, it's it's difficult for me as a German, but the Scots got really good beer. I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> it doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Neither do I drink either. <laughs> no, they've got some good stuff. Yes, all four tones are in the game, James. Yes, deep I must admit I've not been tempted to try the deep fried. I mean, they deep fry everything up there. It's not you're, the, the deep fried Mars bar is the joke, but it's deep fried anything basically. Oh, haggis, haggis is an error. Uh, I was pre-mixed. always way too chicken to do the haggis thing. <laughs> try it. It's actually really good. I enjoyed it. Because of course I had to try it uh, the moment I came up to Scotland. But got to try uh, black pudding as well. And yeah, that was quite good as well. Oh, black pudding is lovely. So is white pudding. I've never tried white pudding. I probably prefer white pudding to black pudding, but yeah, it's okay. uh, white, white pudding is a, is a rarer thing to find. Mm. I haven't tried white white pudding before. Oh wow, it does light up. Oh, this is so, really cool. Yeah, that's the answer to the question that I didn't want to give away at the beginning of the stream. That's awesome. Yeah. Do me a favor and show it from the outside. Because, yeah, awesome. Look at that bridge. That's stunning. Oh, that's awesome. I think it really, really shines in the darkness. Airborne has just said when we were, when we were talking about banana line, when we were on the banana line stream, we were talking about pineapple on pizza because we were on Italy, and now we're talking about beer and and haggis in Scotland. <laughs> Can't tell. It's traditional to talk about food on a train stream, and you know it is. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's almost the law. Yeah. <laughs> Get us three in a stream, we're going to talk about food. <laughs> it's an important topic, I don't know why we shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, all four tones. Yeah, that's amazing at night. That's 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 really good. I like that. I'm really happy with how that turned out. In both day and night lighting. Mm. But yeah. Tones are down here. There go. Well, there we go. So we and we've only really yeah we did the um, uh, we did this. Where was the rubbish scenario? Well, that was that ran around uh, the top, didn't it? Yeah. No, it started in um, Dunfermline and then went down to Haymarket as well. That was that one that went down that way. There. Yeah. So really, we haven't really looked at the top bit there. So you've got plenty still to find in the route. It's uh, there's lots to look at, and you've got uh, you've got different ways. It's kind of it's two routes really. It yeah. is, yeah, yeah. 
And you can well, you use go. the link between uh, Domini and what is it? Lithlingo as well. So that's fully modeled as well. Yes. And there you go, Stick. folks. There you have it. Hope you've enjoyed that. Yeah. Hand over to you, Jamie, to wrap us up. Yes. So, uh, don't forget, we have the Steam Encore sale still going uh, going on at the moment, and the Xbox Buy One Get One Free uh, sale as well. Uh, Five Circle has got ten percent off on Steam, and it's currently on Steam. It's twenty six ninety nine, and but uh, and all others, it's twenty nine ninety nine. And as you say, you get to the one seventy with the two different routes and the full circle. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed it. It will be out on Tuesday, so you've got a lot to look forward to. Uh, and we'll make sure we get that video up of the announcements for you as soon as we can as well. Yep. There we go. Brilliant. So it's uh, it's good night for me. <laughs> it's good night from him. Yeah, and him. <laughs> I'm pointing the wrong way. And him, then, then. <laughs> I was going to say that was the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Brilliant. Thanks Fantastic. a lot again for having me on the stream. It was really great being here yeah, again, being able good to, to show that off. Good to have you back, Jasper. Yeah. Absolutely. And well yeah. done to the team. Cracking job on the route. A couple of things Definitely. there that you can go and get feedback from, and uh, maybe we get a video showing off those announcements and, and so forth. Yep. Um, yep. That would be really good. Um, but, uh, yeah, brilliant. So, yeah, coming soon. Uh, pre-order now, isn't it, Jamie? Um, yeah, it's pre-order now. Those who want yep. to get your, uh, get your pre-orders in. And otherwise than that... Take care, everybody. We'll catch you on the next stream. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.